Reconciliation between King Charles and his estranged son, Prince Harry, seems increasingly unlikely following Harry's recent verbal assaults on Charles's wife, Queen Camilla. Royal associates now believe that the two will never be able to repair their strained relationship. While many members of the royal family's inner circle had already dismissed the possibility of Prince William and Harry reconciling, there is now a growing lack of optimism in some circles regarding Harry's relationship with his father. King Charles, deeply disturbed by Harry's scathing criticism of Camilla in his memoir, is said to be appalled by his son's harsh words. According to close friends, Charles was particularly hurt by the personal attacks Prince Harry made against Camilla in his book. Harry portrayed her as relentlessly pursuing the position of queen, accused her of sacrificing him for her own image, and even labelled her as dangerous, willing to leave casualties in her wake. How can she move past that? A close friend of the queen told the Daily Beast. Calling your stepmother names in private or during a family quarrel is one thing, but to include it in a book that is outselling the Bible. It's unforgivable. The friend of Camilla, asked if Charles's attitude toward Harry had become more difficult due to the attacks on his wife, responded, it's certainly a significant factor. The door will never be completely closed since Charles has made it clear that he loves both of his sons. However, the family is incredibly stubborn, so no one is likely to offer an apology initially. Without a doubt, Charles does not believe he owes Harry an apology. The lack of willingness to initiate an apology or acknowledge any wrongdoing seems to be a major stumbling block on both sides. A friend of the King and Queen, speaking to the Daily Beast, revealed that there are currently no plans for Harry and Charles to meet. If not for the book, there might have been a possibility of reconciliation. However, Charles was deeply shocked and saddened by what Harry had written about him and Camilla. Charles needs to focus on his duties as King and it is not yet appropriate for him to engage in meetings with Harry. Such a meeting would be disruptive and highly unstable. A close friend of the late Queen Elizabeth, speaking to the Daily Beast, expressed that the wider circle of royals and friends of Her Majesty are still horrified by what they perceive as Harry's disrespect and cruelty towards his grandmother. They view his relentless attacks on the institution she dedicated her life to during her battle with terminal bone cancer as particularly callous. Charles, it is believed, was among those shocked by the timing of Harry's revelations. The Queen's friend also mentioned that by the time of the Platinum Jubilee in June 2022, she was facing numerous health challenges and rarely left her residences at Windsor Castle. It took a tremendous effort for her to appear on the balcony during the Jubilee celebrations. Her life's work was disparaged in a series of documentaries and interviews created by Harry and Meghan, adding to the Queen's distress. The announcement of Harry's memoir, made while his grandmother was not only grieving recent losses but also in her final days, was heartbreaking. Originally scheduled for release in the fall of 2022, Harry's book was repeatedly delayed. It was finally released after the Queen's passing. Reports indicate that Harry initially told his publishers, to their dismay, that he would cancel the book after returning to the UK for the Jubilee, but he later changed his mind. While Charles was generally thought to be more understanding of his younger son's desire to speak out publicly, given his own experiences with the media, the current situation has strained their relationship further. Despite some criticism,